At the Hepworth at the moment, we've got a display about Henry Moore, having a focus on Henry Moore and his relevance not only to Wakefield and the region, but also his significance as one of the major figures in British sculpture of the 20th century. Henry Moore was really a pioneer of abstract sculpture, abstracting the figure in a revolutionary way. He and um, other figures in the early 20th century were very much inspired by what was happening on the continent and brought these kind of revolutionary ideas about making art to Britain. He worked with the figure in such a way that showed new possibilities, almost kind of looking at the psychology of the figure and exploring that through form. Over two thirds of his work throughout his career was concerned with the reclining figure. And for him, having this subject matter sort of fixed, it enabled him to become much more experimental in his approach and to really experiment with form and material in ways that if he had to completely reinvent or reapproach a subject matter each time would have been much more difficult for him. In this display, we're showing works from across Moore's career, and we're also showing works on a very different scale. So we're um, displaying some maquettes, again, on the theme of the reclining figure, which are very small um, working models for sculptures that were then realized uh, on a larger scale. But also we have this fantastic large four-part reclining figure from the 1970s, so towards the end of Moore's career, when he was beginning to work on a much more monumental scale and really thinking about the figure in the landscape. We're really lucky at the Hepworth Wakefield in that we have a significant work by Henry Moore dating from 1936. And it's one of his reclining figures in Elmwood, and we have the second one that was made. This work is from the Wakefield Permanent Art Collection and it's a two-piece reclining figure from the 1960s, 1962. It's made of bronze and we're allowing visitors to touch it and to really experience the texture of the surface. In these figures from the 1960s, Moore cut them in two and really trying to experiment with the idea of how the human figure related to the landscape. And here you can almost see that the, the head becomes um, part of a headland and um, this form here, the legs, it's almost like um, uh, an arch that you would see in the geography of the Jurassic Coast. Hepworth and Moore were born within five miles of each other in the Wakefield district. Henry Moore was born in Castleford. He was five years older than Hepworth, but they both studied at Leeds School of Art in the 1920s, and they encountered each other there and became strong friends, and then subsequently both went to the Royal College of Art in London, and together they were really responsible for the Renaissance in the method of direct carving, where the material almost dictates the form of the sculpture. This display is a real in-focus display about a particular aspect of Moore's work. It's a small display of only nine works in total, but representing this really important body of work in Moore's um, career, which I think people find um, very inspirational and really give an insight into his working practices. <laughs>